Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm your host Alex Escamilla. On today's video we're going to show you how to make a full backup of your 8055 CNC via USB. To do the backup you'll need to be on the G code end of the control. Press shift followed by the escape key. From the main menu press the F7 key for plus. Then press F1 for status then press F1 again for CNC and press F1 for backup. Using the up and down arrow keys highlight your USB. Once selected press F4 for modify. Use the up and down arrow keys to highlight create new directory and press enter. Let's call this 8055 space backup. Press enter to create the folder. You'll notice that on the left hand side your USB disk is still highlighted. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the folder that you created. In this case it's 8055 backup. Press the F7 key to cursor over to the right hand side of the screen and verify that your programs has a check mark, the parameters and tables has a check mark, pages and symbols has a check mark, and uh, programs under the user data also has a check mark. If you have a full digital drive system you'll be able to select servo parameters. In this case I don't have a full digital drive system so I am not able to select servo parameters. If one of the items happens to be unchecked use the up and down arrow keys to select the item. Press the right arrow key to either add or remove the check mark. and press enter to confirm. After this all you need to do is press F6 to start the backup. The backup of the CNC can take anywhere between two to five minutes. This all depends on the amount of information located on the CNC memory. Once the process has been completed simply remove the USB stick and press the main menu key on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and speed up the process here. To restore a backup from the main menu press the F7 key for plus, press F1 for status, press F1 again for CNC and this time select F2 to restore. Verify that you're on the left hand side of the screen under folders. Navigate down to your USB, select the folder that contains your backup and again press the F7 key to go over to the right hand side and verify that programs are selected, parameters and tables is selected, pages and symbols are selected and programs under the user data should be selected as well. To start the restore process press the F6 key. You'll see this message saying that the restore process will begin. Press OK to continue. Now if there's an existing file that is already inside of the CNC you'll get this message, this prompt here saying that the program already exists. Would you like to replace? You can replace the file one at a time by pressing F6 or in my case I'm going to press F7 to answer yes to all. The restore process can take anywhere between two to five minutes depending on the amount of files that you're looking to transfer to the CNC. Once the CNC has completed the process, the CNC will reboot. During the restore process, you might get a message saying that the program has no written permission. To continue, simply press F7. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Also, let us know in the comments below what type of videos you're interested in seeing on this channel. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the Fagor products, drop me a message. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next video.